What's up guys, Brandon here and I am back with another action figure review. I know it's been a while but I wanted to bring you something good, something that we can all enjoy and be happy about and here it is, Shazam! The brand new movie. I am so so excited for this, I'm a Shazam diehard uh, and I couldn't believe I found this figure. The movie isn't until April 5th, however today is January 6th. I am very very excited to see what we can learn from this figure that will be in the movie. The box art looks awesome. Uh, this we're going to see on all the Shazam merch, the logo, uh, and the box art of Zachary Levi as Shazam. And he looks phenomenal. I am extremely excited. Down here we have some other box art. I'm not sure what those magic symbols mean just yet, but I'm sure we'll learn soon enough. This is Thunder Punch Shazam. He's got 20 plus sounds and phrases, and his lightning bolt on his chest does light up. Really, really well uh, well put together figure. I am so, so excited. And he does really kind of look like Zachary Levi. That's so cool. On the back of the box, uh, we see the logo again. Uh, he's got a cloth cape, which I think is really, really cool. Uh, and they did, <laughs> they did a great job with the box art. I really do like it. And some of the other figures in the wave, uh, we have Shazam and Dr. Savannah. However, they are the basic $10 figures that are 12 inches tall. I got mine at Walmart. He was 20 bucks. We're going to get this figure out of the packaging and take a closer look. Stay tuned. All right, so we just got Shazam out of the box, and he looks marvelous. I am so, so excited. 12-inch figure it looks phenomenal. Uh, jumping right into it. So it's totally a brand-new sculpt. Um, Mattel has never done anything like this before. Um, the likeness to Zachary Levi is on point, you guys. Um, I really, really am happy with this figure. There's his chest. Uh, looks really cool. This whole area lights up here. And let's check it out. Let's make this a fair fight, Dr. Sabana Shazam! Oh, that is so cool. I'm going to go through all the sounds and phrases in just a minute. I just wanted to cover the figure's detail first. He's even got veins on his fist. Really, really awesome stuff if it'll focus in there. The gauntlets are pretty awesome. They don't light up. It's a $20 figure. I mean, the fact that his chest lights up is already awesome enough. There's the belt. Looks really, really cool. There's the pants. His boots. His Shazam boots. The final cut version of the boots. Um, I really, really am liking this texture all over his costume, which I, let's see if it'll focus. Um, what is it? There are little S's all over the costume. It's brilliant. I love it. The cape is, uh, it is cloth. It looks pretty good. I dig it with the little design on it. Um, being an old school Shazam fan, I think this is like his collar and then this is, you know, the cape. But he does have a hood, which is cool, throwing it into the new 52. Um, but the hood you cannot put on, which, you know, I'm not too much of a hood fan, so, but it is cool. The uh, the lightning symbols where the sound comes out of, you can change the batteries. Uh, really, really nice looking figure, I gotta say. Uh, and he even does have peg holes at the bottom of his feet. Uh, I really, really do like this guy, and I'm very pleased. This was totally kept secret. No images leaked, no nothing. Um, I really, really am happy with this, and I'm very excited that we have it. For Shazam's articulation, he's got movement in his head, side to side. Movement in his arm comes forward, out, and back. Uh, at the elbow, there's a bend and a twist. Uh, at the wrist, there's a twist. Um, the other arm kind of is locked in place because of that trigger mechanism with his leg. Um, but there is articulation here. Um, there's movement at the waist. There's movement at the legs, forward, back, not really. Um, but his legs do come out pretty good, and they come forward. Uh, and there's a bend at the knee. And this is for both legs, even though one of them has a trigger mechanism, which is really, really cool. So articulation-wise, this is awesome. Uh, Titan Heroes used to not have any articulation. And so the fact that we have this is really, really awesome stuff. So now if we want to learn more about the movie, we got to hear all of Shazam's phrases. And apparently there's 20. Let's see if that's true. <laughs> yes, I did. Oh, so you're like a bad guy. Check this out, enemies of man. This job calls for a superhero. Why don't you pick on someone your own size, Dr. Sabana Shazam? Your phone is charged. And your phone is charged. Oh, 
All right, so I think those are all of the phrases. They sound awesome. Enemies of Man sounds really cool. It sounds like the seven deadly sins are going to be involved in this movie for sure. Dr. Savannah is going to be involved for sure. Um, where they fight, Savannah, I guess, has Shazam-like powers. Um, and then it says that, you know, they're a family, that they stick together. Um, and there's been some rumors that the rest of the Shazam family is going to suit up. So that'll be really cool to see Freddy and Mary and Pedro and Darla and Eugene fighting alongside Shazam to stop Savannah. I'm extremely, extremely excited. Taking a look at his size comparison with Shazam, he fits in very well with my other 12-inch action figures. He is the exact same size as the figures that came out for Justice League. I wish I had Superman, but I don't. Uh, the multiverse figures that are 12 inches tall are just a little bit bigger, uh, but not by much. And then if we take a look at some of the Infinity War figures, Natasha Romanoff and Captain America, they fit in very well. And the same thing if you have any Star Wars figures, like I have Kanan. Uh, he fits in very, very well. I'm impressed, and I'm very, very happy. As a Shazam fan, if you're a Shazam fan, you know merch is very hard to come by. So to have a 12-inch Shazam like this to add to my collection, I'm very happy. And here's the size comparison with just a few of the other Shazams that I have. Uh, these are some of the ones that are bigger in scale. Uh, the DC Direct one is a very, very nice one if you don't have it. And then I've also got a DC Direct statue from the early 2000s. And then this one, I believe, is the retro figure that Mattel put out a couple years ago. Uh, and then this little Shazam right here is the only Shazam that I have uh, with a chest that lights up the lightning. Should still do it. There it is. If you saw it briefly, it's from Jack in the Box. That's my first Shazam. Uh, and the new Shazam is the only one that I have that lights up, uh, except for my old one. So I'm very happy to have this. If you're a Shazam fan, the new figure will fit in with your collection very nicely. All right, you guys, that about does it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. YouTube, you're the best. Thank you for the likes, the comments, the shares, the subscriptions. Couldn't do it without you guys, so thank you for that. And let me know in the comments section below, are you finding Shazam figures yet or any Shazam merch? This was the only one that I found at Walmart. Uh, no other figures, no other anything. So let me know what you find. And again, thanks for watching. I'm Brandon. I'll continue to bring you updates as I find them on Shazam. I'll catch you guys soon. Thanks for watching.